Welcome back and thank you very much. The Daily Guide reports this morning, President Cracks Whip, three NYA chiefs fired. Chaos in NDC of Awuntumi's cash. Akufuado concerned about terrorism and Nanaswes in Siga board. The Ghanaian Times, let's fight growing terrorism threats together. President urges African countries and renewed xenophobic attacks in South Africa. No Ghanaian casualties yet, says government. CAG to sanction officers for spending outside gift mix. And Ashanti Rexec declares KNUST a security zone. The business finder. 13.3% tax revenue shortfall. GRA tax force descends on defaulters. CD to remain 5 CDs 40 pesos against US dollar till the end of 2019. And Exxon's uh, cabal, cable metal uh, equips electrical wiring expects. Well, I was talking also about the daily graphic. Uh, direct Bank of Ghana others to restore GM savings and loans. Dr. Indum Prey's High Court has sued the uh, Bank of Ghana. Decision to arm policemen on duty. Drivers disagree with that decision, but the Interior Minister is steadfast in his uh, decision. Well, Ghana moves toward of terrorism. President assures security forum. And those are the headlines there. My guest this morning from the MPP is the uh, National Communications Director of the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, Mr. George AC. And also, we've been joined here uh, for the first time in a long time the aide to former President John Dramani Mahama, astute lawyer as well, Joyce Bar Mukhtari. Madam, welcome. Thank you. Chief, good morning. Good morning, John. Good to, good to have you here. Good morning. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> and I hope we'll have many, many happy returns of, of this you. particular one. So let's start off from the quarters of the NY because I'm just seeing um, the story up here. And of course, the, the president has asked that the three chiefs be fired. There's small fees in there, some contractual issues here and there. George, are, are you worried, first of all, as a party person, about the series, or if you like, the medley of corrupt uh, reports that come up and down? You know, one nearly goes down and then one comes up. Are you worried? Uh, thank you, Johnny. Uh, let me say good morning to your viewers. Uh, good morning to our lawyer, uh, Joyce Ba Mukhtari. Uh, I definitely, I uh, will be worried as a party person and, and, and uh, as a citizen of this country. Uh, we all wish that we get continuous good uh, news uh, on the governance processes. We all intend to have a very well governed uh, country and all the sectors, departments and agencies uh, functioning properly. Uh, Having said that, you know, we, we woke up, uh, is it by last Saturday mm. or Saturday, uh, right. Friday, yeah. when, when we had the news about some uh, inappropriate conduct by the officers in charge of the National Youth Authority. And so uh, we're wondering whether they were believable or not. Uh, but when I watched the video of uh, Kevin Taylor, mm. I, I normally don't watch it, but it was dropped on our platform by a very well-respected individual. Okay. And then I said, wow, if it's coming from this man, let me watch it. Okay. And when I watched it, I said to myself, the man has been able to establish uh, a case against uh, NYA. Okay. And, and so we needed, uh, it was only two things that I disagreed with him, that conversion of 1.8 uh, to, you know, 10.8 billion old cities instead of 18 billion. Okay. And then accusing the minister of lying to parliament, okay. the uh, minister for sports. And I disagreed because the minister just reported to parliament mm -hmm. uh, what he is assigned the NYA to do mm -hmm. by training, there's a budget, and they're going to train young people, 500 people. To, to fix street lights. Yes, so that is not a lie to parliament. Mm -hmm. You get it. He's just reported. And you know, in the structure, when the minister, a budget is sent by a department in a ministry, mm -hmm. you know, and it is approved by parliament, then you are taxed as the head of the agency or department to 
execute the, or the implement that. The dismissal letter of the three uh, did not state reasons for which they were being dismissed. Oh, no, no. I'm, that's, I'm, that's... I'm premising my argument on Kevin Taylor's tape before right. I come okay. to uh, the matter proper. Mm -hmm. And so that is where I said uh, he, he accused uh, Honorable Asiyama okay. of, of lying and to Parliament, and I disagreed. Yes, yeah. I disagreed with that. But coming to the matter proper, uh, I think a full-scale investigation uh, must still go on, in spite of the fact that His Excellency the President has asked uh, all three of them to go away, uh, because we need to know why it happened in the first place. Mm -hmm. You get it? Because I don't see uh, the, the, the processes or procedure. If you are the head of an agency or organization, mm -hmm. you have a limit to which you can expand, mm -hmm. OK? And then beyond that limit, you must seek the approval of the board. You get it. <laughs> so uh, I do not understand why uh, anybody would decide to spend some money. Uh, which the, the, the deputy CEO in charge of finance says, look, I warned them. I told them. And he says he won't keep quiet. He will keep speaking because he told them of the pitfall. And they went ahead and did it, which means there was motive. You know, and definitely, I'm, I'm getting to definitely 4.5 million definitely will, will not be within his remit to expand without recourse to the board. And so uh, if indeed it happened that way, then that is problematic in itself. But, and then but the let, position... Let's talk about the letters. The letters didn't say why they were being dismissed. Oh, no, no. All of us... <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Then um, uh, you've even saved me uh, a lot of no, others. Actually, you're a party, so, you're a party yes, from UK. Yes. Yes, so no. Why yeah. didn't the letters say, okay, you are being sacked for A, B, C, and D? It didn't say that. Uh, no, but, you know, we, we all know what it is that uh, is in the public domain. Uh, the reasons for which uh, he has been asked to step aside is in the public domain. Mm -hmm. And so the letter went on to say this step aside. I have not read it, but I believe mm -hmm. it's, uh, it will say there will be investigation or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. If there's going to be investigation, then all the details of why they were being asked to step aside uh, will be put forward. The second deputy or one of the deputies right. uh, is saying he actually warned the, uh, the, the chief executive officer. Okay. And so if they appear before any investigative committee, he will make those. And he claims he still has uh, the, a copy of the letter. Right. Uh, sorry, the processes document. Uh, yes, in his drawer. Because he didn't agree that it should be expended okay. or that project should be carried on. And so if there's any committee, he appears before them and he's able to produce those documents uh, farther better. It, but how the, was he able to, or he raised another document and sidelined uh, that deputy, you, you, should be telling you know. Me. You, you should be telling me from my party's point of view. But, but for, for the viewer out there who's yeah. thinking, yeah. I'm hearing one too many corruption oh, allegations you, when you will see, it end no no you see yes it's, it's, it, we are a political party Johnny people have different reasons and motives for joining political parties okay mm -hmm. somebody is just happy to be part of the party somebody is coming because he hopes to get an appointment mm -hmm. somebody is so patriotic he wants to implement a program to help in the transformation agenda okay. and and has been trying to do it on his own mm -hmm. but he sees the political party vehicle as a platform to be able to achieve that right. others also have different motives you get somebody is joining and supporting because he believes when the party is in government he's going to get contracts mm -hmm. you get it and others have various reasons so we made the president will you repose his trust in you and decide that you represent him at point A, B, or C because he believes you are going to acquit yourself excellently. Mostly we look at the resume, okay? And then uh, we, we trust that because of the experience you've gathered over the period, uh, you'll be able to uh, acquit yourself excellently okay. in that office. But in some times to, you know, people begin to disappoint. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is when it so happens and we get to know, mm -hmm. the leadership's response and reaction is very critical. Okay. I, I, in, in this matter, for example, all three were asked to go. Yeah. In the matter of the PPA, he was referred for investigation and said he was suspended. Okay. He's also a CEO. We were told yeah. this, in this case that there was going to be due processes, or there were going to be due processes. But in this case, oh, no, no, due no. process absent. No, but, but they're still... They they're, they're still away. No, once you're Is it because they are small fishes? Oh, no, they cannot be small fishes. Okay. We are talking about it, okay. just as we spoke about the PPA issue here on set. You Apart get from it. Quickly, so they so cannot, they cannot 
be small fishes. And I believe lawyer is here. She will be able to tell us if, if we're right or not. They will still have uh, the opportunity to decide to so go to court if they so wish. Mm -hmm. uh, and they feel they were wrongfully dismissed. You get it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, uh, for now, they've been asked to step aside if they're stepping aside for a committee to go into it, mm. or they've been dismissed outright. Okay. Uh, that's another matter. Thank you. Madam, take a bite on, on this particular one. Uh, I asked uh, Mr. Isi an initial question. I'll pose the same question to you. The multiplicity of yeah, okay. corruption allegation, does it worry you? Well, good morning to you. Good morning to your viewers. It's been a very long time right. since I've been on your platform. So thank you once more for inviting me. Uh, it's a very, very somber morning for me and, of course, for the NDC and uh, Mr. Mm. Mahama, mm. as we are mourning the twin brother okay. of uh, Mr. Isamwa, who is mm. the Communications Director right, right. of the National Democratic Congress. So this morning, my condolences to him and mm. his family, and, of course, from here, I will be joining them too. Right. You know, I sometimes reflect, I reflect ex largely mm. on how we have arrived here, how we found ourselves here as a people. I would want first and foremost to state that this manufacture, these uh, duplicitous activities mm. that are currently ongoing, okay. the spate of scandals, mm -hmm. the regularity with which they occur, mm. has become a matter that requires urgent attention. Right. I keep saying that every government, every leader has mm. choices. Mm. We can all say, like former President Kufo used to say, that corruption is as old as Adam. Mm. And so fighting it becomes very difficult for a human being. Mm. But at least he was humble enough to admit that it was bound to happen. Mm. Now we have a government who rode on the perception or mm. perceived corruption mm. of the previous administration to come into government. Mm. Every effort to alert government that there were a lot of malpractices going on, mm. that there was deep malfeasance in government and in governance and in various institutions of government, fell on dead ears. It started from the cash for seed saga. Mm. It was actually icing on the cake at the time mm. that there was a need to try and penetrate through the various agencies of government to try and play a more critical watchdog role mm -hmm. to find out what was actually going on because there was a lot of talk. Mm. You know, sometimes there are perceptions of corruption mm. which run very deep. Okay. Don't forget that once there's this strong and deep perception, mm. there is a need for leadership to look closer, to pay closer attention. Cash for seats was something, investigated by parliament, by bipartisan committee. Something must give credence okay. to why people would be perceiving mm. a particular government, a particular individual, mm. why this perception would be so rife mm. as to start to become a challenge that society starts to identify. And I'm, I'm to submitting to you, Madam, that cash for seats was investigated in Parliament and I by a bipartisan committee. It was the very first. Okay. Mm. You understand? I understand. Mm. It created a certain impression, whether okay. we like it or not. Okay. Following from there, mm. there was the matter of Bost. Okay. There have been many others, mm. and I think for me, what made me really sad was the one to do with the PPA boss in particular. Why? He's someone that I know personally. Okay. I know that for most of the times when former President Kufo was in office, he was one of the consultants actually to the introduction and eventual passage okay. of the Public Procurement Act. Okay. And so when he became head of that agency, mm. I expected that he would do everything in his power right. first to fully implement, mm. to make sure mm. that he brought a certain level of ethics to how procurement was actually handled in this country. That was what he said in 2007. Note that mm. the PPA joined bodies like Yoko, mm. bodies like the Special Prosecutor's Office, and many others to become one of our foremost mm. attempts by government to check at least breaches to do with procurement processes, mm. which had actually become a canker that people tried to find ways of dealing with. Okay. Coming down to this matter of the National Youth Authority in particular, it is okay mm. to fire people for these sorts of offenses. Mm. What is bad 
is a brazen attempt mm. by individuals who are given opportunities to occupy public office, mm -hmm. who use these opportunities they are given okay. to steal from the taxpayer or attempts to steal from the taxpayer. This is not an effort to hide something. And I'm, I'm particularly delighted that for the first time, okay. the president has taken this step. Mm. He himself can tell that things are going awry, that the scandals are becoming one too many, mm. that indeed the effort by the minority to draw his attention to the fact that perceptions of corruption were now deepening mm -hmm. and had become worse under his watch wow. was not a misnomer. Wow. Every government has challenges, George. Every human institution will have bad nuts. George disagrees. But they you know, it is the impunity with which it's being done now. Okay. That is really what is bad. And you know, sometimes we sit here and we try to build cases and try to equalize. Mm. There were challenging times under the watch of the NDC. That is not in doubt. There were challenging times under the watch of former President Kufo. Mm. What I'm saying is that there's been a lot more now Okay. of the worst kind, mm. huge sums of money. Look at the one of the National Youth Authority, mm. 4.5 billion Ghana cities. Do you know what that amount can do for poverty alleviation in this country? What would be the basis that you would train individuals mm. in street lightning projects? This is a matter, you can go to National Road Safety. Mm. I worked at the Ministry of Transport for a long time, even before I became a Deputy Minister. Mm. I know the agencies that handle these things. Go and ask what the budget of the Road Safety Commission is for these interventions mm. to prevent road accidents, to make our roads safer mm. for use, etc. Mm. Check with the MTTD if they'll be given this opportunity to procure such services to undertake these responsibilities. Look, there is a multiplicity of agencies that handle these matters. So government says, look, uh, we will kick them out, we will refer them to institutions to run a probe and to deal with it, and so we are showing commitment to fighting corruption. Is that not enough? You see, you live in Ghana, and you can pick up the newspapers over the last six months. Even as we speak, other scandals are brewing. Did how, we, how did you did, know that? Oh, I know. Why? I've followed stories about what has happened at GRE, okay. where the finance minister himself had to invite the board to an emergency meeting mm. because a board member has rented out properties to the agency at huge, no, certainly not commercial rates. Mm. We know one that is happening now with my own friend and colleague at the bar, a man I have enormous respect for. Mm. I hope that what I'm hearing is not true. not true. I really pray that he is not the type who would come into government and abuse the same processes that as an imposition, he felt there was a need for governments to change mm. so that he would do better as a minister of government. Mm. You see, we overly politicize these issues sometimes. When we move away from the politics, mm. the attempt to seek to create a certain equality or mm. equity, mm. we would realize that something is wrong, that Ghanaians are complaining. I mean, my brother, look at the hardship around you. Look at the amount we're paying for fuel presently. Look at where the dollar to the CD is. There are really critical issues that need attention. Mm -hmm. So when you hear about these scandals, attempts, but look, this NYA boss, mm -hmm. I remember in 2016, mm -hmm. at the peak of the campaign, he made very scathing comments about John Ramani Mahama. Mm -hmm. I was actually very shocked that a young man like this would speak so aggressively in such rude terms, spew such invectives, on a man who had occupied the high office of president just because his party wanted power. If this is the sort of example that comes into power and all you want to do is steal money from the state, mm -hmm. it leaves a very bitter taste in the mouth. And you know, sometimes I want to speak dispassionately about these issues. Mm -hmm. It is not easy because of the circumstances in which we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. But President Adodankwa is a man that we grew up from when I was probably old enough to even understand leadership in Ghana. Mm. He's always been in the corridors of power. He served in some of the highest offices. Have we lost it? I think we are very close to losing it. And I think that every well-meaning Ghanaian okay. has cause to worry. Okay. You've listened to civil society organizations. You've listened to very key people. In fact, people who practically helped the MPP come to power. Who were, they were middle level people, mind you. Mm. They were very objective in their criticisms. Okay. In some Please cases, even they had a good case. Mm. I want to call on President Anado Danko Akufuado mm. that we all mm. expect him to do more, that we expect him to move a step mm. further. Okay. There is a need for some individuals to be prosecuted, mm. even if for nothing, it will send a very clear message. 
of the president's commitment to fighting corruption. George. Secondly, uh, okay. I think that Sorry. a few dismissals, and I think it's time for the president to shake up his government. Okay. You know, sometimes when you overly burden yourself with your appointees mm. and keep them for too long, these things happen because they get very comfortable. Okay. I think a shake-up is good at this time. To reshuffle. I think, absolutely. Okay. Very, very important. The CEOs, all of them. Reshuffle, maintain everywhere. the number or, the number or trim, is, the number trim is terrible. or prune. Look, one of the biggest drains on our economy now is the number of appointees we have. And I think that every government, whether in government, whether in opposition, must work to Reduce, look, go to the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. go to the United States of America. How many people are in the cabinet? We have 123 mm -hmm. ministers, deputy ministers, and ministers of state. I think that is a large government. It has entered the Guinness Book of Records. How many okay. people do we have in this population? 30. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, much. sometimes let's get serious. Thank and you. I think let's call on government. Let's end the scandal breeding machine. Let's take some very wow. bold steps George. to end it. Yeah. John, Scandal breeding machine. I'm surprised. Why, I'm you, surprised. why are you surprised? Especially coming from the Honorable uh, Joyce Bauer Mukhtari, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an aide to the former president. She didn't who speak was truth. A former deputy minister. The way she spoke passionately, mm -hmm. I, I was reflecting and say, where was she? She's where was she when, a, when, a when the PV or main committee uh, mm -hmm. unravels scandalous acts under the, the, uh, her, you know, the, the, her boss's government. You remember the Better Ghana Management Services? Mm. Uh, the quantum of cash, hard cash, the player, uh, tree planting. You remember last mm. we spoke about it, cutting trees and planting trees mm. and burning them. Okay? Guinea fowls flying, she's from the northern sector. Okay? That quantum of money could have helped develop that sector. Are we, I'm not, are we I'm not, No, no. I'm not. You see, I'm saying I'm surprised at her passion. Okay. If she had used the same passion to support the former president, okay. this nation would have been far ahead, okay, achieving our dream. Mm. The president, Anado Dankwe Kufuado, the incorruptible president, is determined and resolved to move this nation forward. And I said from the beginning that I would trust you, Johnny, to do your work well. However, in the process, when something happens, the way I respond to your conduct mm -hmm. is very key to send the right signals to other appointees that you, you we think don't that so we are far not the here president to sends the right Of course, signals. of course. And I was surprised at cash for seats. So so <laughs> well, that's so, you, I was for example, you, you, you Mr. Bachejaku lost his job. Yeah. Uh, for want of a better expression, brokering a bad deal. He lost his job. Yeah. Subsequently, who else has lost their job for oh, they're, they're. Uh, corrupt activities? No, supposed corrupt conduct. Right. The PPA man. The PPA man is un in sus uh, under suspension yes. pending investigation yes. from Shraj. Good. So for now, so he's, he has not lost his job. He's almost lost the job, right? He's been asked to step aside. Somebody's acting in his stead, right? And then. PDSCCG, uh, we still don't have the report. Oh, no, the report, they finished with the Minister for Information, he said the report has been submitted. And after a study, uh, maybe, you know, we'll be. Uh, briefed on what okay. it entails, okay. right? Okay. And so that's important. You see, by bringing out, referring her to what happened under them, mm -hmm. I don't seek to equalize. We need to do better going forward. Charles you Bishu, uh, Mr. Bing, uh, two bosses from uh, boss that have gone. Uh, nobody is telling us why. We don't know. Yeah, the, the one too many. The boss was investigated, and, and there's a there's a whole there's a whole page in the Daily Graphic yeah. this morning. Well, you know, yeah, I, that's I that's talking. Just sorry, but this, this page uh, no, seventy yeah. of the Daily Graphic. Yeah. The public is calling yes. for more there's power, a, willpower, and fighting corruption. Yes, no, so, so the people are worried about. No, it. we. I sitting here, I'm very much worried. Okay. You see, when you started, you you asked me whether I was worried. Yes, I, as a citizen, I'm worried. As a party person, I'm worried. As a member of government. I'm worried. You get it. And so, uh, and, but I'm comforted with the response of His Excellency, the President. Okay. Okay. That we've had situations where people have been accused and all they do is to bring them to the precedence. It's okay. happened before. Mm. Huh? Uh, Elvis, a free anchor, the director of elections and co. Mm. You get it. And so that is not the picture His Excellency is painting now. He's saying, look, these are allegations against you. Step, go and sit down. We're going to go into the matter. And when the report says uh, you are indicted, we either give you to the OSP 
or the CID to prosecute you. Pio Zeba Mahajide was reassigned. The GMA boss was sent to, to GRA. No, the GMA... So, I, I so don't see no, no, the script. No, 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 no. The GMA, GMA boss, I don't see, you know, the corruption there. You know, he said he's built a house or something, and that is... I don't get it. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. I was happy when Honorable said uh, a certain amount of money involved in the NYA. Okay. It's very important. Mm. Okay. So let's look at it. 500 young trainees, 4.5 million to fix. You know, it's mind boggling. You get it. So it needs investigation. I agree with that. Okay. okay. Now going forward, let's see. Let's, let's be able to establish that indeed X or Y has done this criminal act. Activity, okay, and let's see whether the president is dealing with him or he's going to let him off the hook. That is the most important. We have seen many of such. You get it. And then I wouldn't sit here and say the number of corruption exposés uh, is not enough to scare me. You get it. I'm worried. Okay. You get it. I'm worried. It's, it doesn't but, paint. But, you see, this government it. is doing a lot of good things for this country. Okay. okay. Some of these things are likely to distract the people's attention okay. from the good things okay. that we are doing. Mm -hmm. You get it. And so, as a party person, uh, as a party communicator and government spokes, uh, communicator, I'm worried. And I must be worried. Okay. Because people, instead of today, we would have been talking maybe of uh, the, the challenges or the successes of the free SHS, uh, NAPCO and others. But we put it aside and talk corruption matters. Okay. So I'm worried. Great. Uh, let's uh, move on. Know, Joey, very, yes, yes, madam. Very quickly, mm -hmm. Batal. As I said, all governments have choices. Right. Indeed, in all the examples he mentioned for SADA and all the ones he mentioned, I'm sure mm -hmm. you remember, the records are public records. Mm -hmm. Even in the case of Mr. Free Anchor, there was a whole committee of inquiry, if you recall. Mm -hmm. So as I said, my brother. But there, there was a white, there was a white yes, paper that was that was not given to us. The but that's what was every, indicted, well, and, every yeah. government has choices, <laughs> Thank you. and every government makes efforts to stem corruption. Thank okay. you. But as I said, in every instance that is mentioned, mm. every effort was never records are there. We all know what was happening. Mm. We are still waiting for the Ayawaso West Wagon report. Mm. We are still waiting for a formal report on all the other government. In fact, on the PDS one, mm. even the persons who were supposed to do the investigations were not disclosed. Well, I've asked that question for 30 Absolutely. days. Nobody has given you know, me an answer. Look, George, so. let's, let's be honest. Things are not looking good. And you remember being on the other side, the noises you made about the few acts that came up few? and were... Mm -hmm. No, I can chronicle them. We can. We we should, we should, we should share. From Genesis to Revelation. From A to Z. Did you, you say few? For it's Sada. Not few. Did you say few? For, sa for Sada. Ah, it's not few. Did you say few? We could go to we Madame Dufartivo. And remember what happened. Brandy. Madame, Madame Dufartivo <laughs> was the foremost minister Maslok. at the time. Right. And the challenge with that Bas Brandon was that it was a question of whether or not we had followed proper process. If you remember, right. she resigned immediately. Our own attorney general actually reported on the matter mm -hmm. and was the one who investigated it. The, the only sanction that came to her was for her to refund the money. It wasn't even for her, it was even for the it contractor was, too. The contractor to refund the you money. Know, so you said it should be at a certain I, rate. And, and I'm you asking you. Me. Exactly. It's okay. So, so let's, let's, so let's make progress. progress. The scandals that you are explaining are not embarrassing to you. <laughs> it is. Exactly. It is. Okay. Let's, 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 let's make progress. Even if it's one, it's embarrassing. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And I'm not going to condone them. Okay. Let's know what you think. If the government, you think the president is fighting corruption hard enough? And, and has a willingness to end. You know, is very you know we make, we make a certain corruption. comparison that I think doesn't work for us. Okay. If you make a clear distinction, mm. the times when we were in government under President John Dramani, okay. Mahama, go back and check. They always, the hymn book was always about corruption. Mm. In fact, even to the person of President John Dramani, Mahama, mm. You remember even the matter to do with the Ford saga, mm. which was investigated by Shai. Right. The new patriotic party at the time would not accept it. But you ask yourself, a very reasonable Ghanaian, mm. what will President John Ramani Mahama be doing with the Ford? Are we saying today mm. that the things that are happening, you can compare them to these situations? Look, if you are a leader of a team, mm. like President Adam Dacquais, and the team is corrupt, the team is stealing money. Mm. The team is being unethical in their undertaking of their duties. Allegations. It, most of them are It doesn't matter. Most of them. In you our know, case, you remember the bond, bond issue. You claim there's you something. Let's, let's you make progress. Yesterday, 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 somebody told me that 
allegations. With PDS, it is that is an allegation. It is your, your plan. No, it's PDS the, an allegation. The, 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 the plan is to, is to, 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 is to set to allegations for you. Everything. So, so there's no idea of truth so, so, in no, 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 no. So that's the CS also has complained about her. She's chronically. You get it. I'm telling you one. The bond that was raised. The 2.25 billion bond. The 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 it, it, it went to charge. That is a way to you yes. You remember that those things? The billions of money they are stealing are from those bonds. Okay. Okay. We are not happy and for borrow a money matters. with no. taxpayers. The president issues. definitely is not going to sit down to watch well, let's people hope the misconduct is not themselves. On their no, so that he's, he's not. Away. He's not. That he's really not sleeping <laughs> because for 4.5 billion old cities, no, no. It, 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 it actually makes nonsense of the whole process of wow. attempts to fight corruption. We've, yes. we've seen 35 let's, million dollars swindled to, to for this country. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's let's look up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your microphones are off. Your microphones are off. Your microphones are off. By the way. Thank you very much. Your your microphones are off. Okay. So page six of the Daily Guide says Nana swears in Siga board, and members of the Siga board are there. The President Kufuado on Tuesday swore in the board of state interest and okay. governance authority with a strict instruction to uphold accountable governance. Uh, the attitude must be new king, new law, and uh, a new authority, a new culture, a culture of accountable governance and respecting the norms, sensibilities, and practices of good corrupt corporate governance, not only amongst you, but also among institutions. That was the president speaking. And uh, you, you can clearly tell the... I see Koe Suman there and all of that. So, SIGA is supposed to be solving the problem of SOEs or state owned enterprises uh, under declaring or declaring losses and not being profitable and eventually collapsing and then di being diversified or sold off. And, and now, this one says it is here to cure it. But I have a key question. I've read the act and I think that, again, I'll, I'll, I'll put this question. The, the president is littered all over the act. It doesn't give the board and the, the chief executive the authority or the free hand to, if you like, run. This is what I think after reading the act. Because the president is littered everywhere. The president appoints the CEO, he appoints the board chair, he appoints this, he appoints that, he appoints this, he appoints that. And it presupposes that they would all have to go back to him, you know, sort of. I don't know what you think. Uh, it's good to have <clears throat> a board in place, especially for uh, uh, overseeing the conduct or acts of state-owned enterprises. And you rarely put it uh, succinct that most of them are run down, and then we have had to either re-ingest capital into them or put them on the divestiture uh, list, and, and that has been worrying. And most of them that have been divested have eventually ended up collapsing or mm -hmm. dying. And, and we don't want that, especially on the heels of this government's uh, vision of one district, one factory. And, mm. and we, need it, we need to support state-owned enterprises. That's why I'm happy the board is in. Uh, going forward, you're saying the president is littered all over, he appoints. Mm. You know, he appoints, but sometimes he's not clothed with some of the powers to uh, uh, dismiss some of them immediately. Mm. You get it. And so once you get there, you have the powers to so function, okay? Uh, carry out your uh, duties as a board member. Is it, is it as or, easy as you say it? Oh, yes. The president will have to go through mm. certain processes mm. at certain times. Okay, you must give him cause to fire you. Okay, and so uh, uh, I want to believe that the, the, the board is going to, and the board will definitely be made up of men of honor and integrity, okay? Mm -hmm. Men with experience who have acquitted uh, themselves in the field of uh, uh, state-owned enterprise management. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, we are yet to see uh, most of the uh, people there. Mm -hmm. The CEO who also uh, in, of the state-owned enterprises will also conduct their well, acts. I, I'm seeing yeah. in the photo Ibrahim Eje, I see a call Suman, I yes. see uh, Mr. Stephen Asamoah Boating. Yes. Yeah, and yes. The, the few known Good. faces in there. Good. So. Okay, so uh, I would want to believe they are going to do their work as taxed by uh, the acts that sets the SOEs up. Uh, because uh, it's time we be 
begin to have uh, state enterprises that are functioning mm -hmm. and that are profitable. Uh, I am not one who subscribes to uh, state managing mm -hmm. uh, businesses and co. I'm not, you know, I'm a Can, can the state right, run uh, the enterprises person. alone? Oh, no. You know, we believe in private, <laughs> uh, uh, public partnership. Okay. You get it. And so, uh, but uh, in some instances, if mm. state has some, like electricity, mm. for, for social reasons, electri electricity company of Ghana and co, some of these establishments mm. uh, must be managed by the state. Okay. Some people believe so. Okay. Uh, and so... If we have some of those ones, that will provide services at a, a cost that will not overburden the citizenry. Yeah. Okay, and it's an essential uh, uh, service that is being provided. Okay. And so, on that score, if the state controls about seventy percent, mm -hmm. I got no problem with that. You get it. But the management of these SOEs and co mm -hmm. is key. We need to get that right, and that is how come the president is put. If, if you cast your mind to back to the, the, the days of Dr. Nkrumah, they, we started with yes. a lot of factories yes. and state-owned yes. enterprises. And, 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 where and, where and, are they? Yes, most of them collapsed because Nkrumah had good vision and plan and program. You get it. But, you know, the state farms and co. We had a lot of stories that people go to farm and harvest a lot of crops and then take it to their friends and cronies. Okay? And eventually, most of them died. Okay? Some of these industries and co. that were built by Nkrumah. You remember, you know, over the years, diversity implementation mm. committee mm. always divesting almost all of them. You get it. And so it's been problematic. I mm. see uh, when it is for government, uh, we are careless as to how it is managed. You get it. That is what we need to take a second look at. Once Johnny is asked to manage a state enterprise, you must put all your uh, expertise, mm. prowess, and co into the management of okay. it. And supervision must be very important. Okay. And the board must be taxed to be doing uh, their work. Right. You get it. Okay. That is the only way we can make progress and allow uh, these state-owned enterprises to begin to grow and achieve the objectives for which uh, the state is keeping them. But uh, would this new uh, Act 990, cigar and the board cure anything at all? Well, Any of the problems that we've had? Yeah. Regarding I'm SOEs. I'm surprised that uh, since George laughed so hard over corruption cases okay. under Nanado's watch, mm -hmm. I'm surprised he didn't find this one even more funny. <laughs> and laugh even louder than he did the last why is time. This, why is it funny? Laugh oh, you laughed. Your year. laugh was very deep. It means you're also waiting for your opportunity to do maybe, I don't know. Oh, no. Uh, you're not being fair to, 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 to join C. That's, that's a jab. Or, that's a jab. Or, or, to catch, or to catch the president's that's, eyes. That's so, a jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Be because I found, I found his whole at approach to it very, very interesting. You know, serious sure matters I'm demand very urgent and serious responses. Course, and I think that course, we should take the fight against corruption. Very, very serious. And that's what the president You know, I okay. shudder to think, mm. and I am, I've been a lawyer for quite some time. Right. If there's anything I know, I know that Ghana has very, very beautiful laws. Mm. What has always been our challenge is a lack of enforcement and implementation. I am not sure what is going on here, to be honest with you, and I'm being very sincere. Okay. I've read the backgrounds of some of these members. Okay. The Honorable Felix Intraqua is a fantastic man right. of many years standing as a citizen of model example. Mm. But I shudder to think, is the president creating more bureaucracies for people to continue to draw incomes, to draw salaries? What exactly are we the, seeking? This is keep? replacing the diversity implementation oh. committee and As one I other. As I said, what is the purpose of this whole body that has been created? They say the to, money to that make sure that SOEs are SOEs oh. are more profitable. Every SOE you know, most of them were set up by establishment acts. Go and check. Mm. Don't take the law reports. You understand? Mm. Are we look? We have 126 appointees in government as ministers and deputies and counting. Check the numbers of boards we have. You said 123. No, I've been correct. There is 126. Oh. New regions. Yes, okay. absolutely. Look, my brother, we don't have that much. We have very meager resources in this country. I'm sure under your government, you know. Sikano or Ha, Sikano or him. Now you know it's not there. It's there. You understand? The money is there. And no, you, that is you why they are signing for 4.5 billion. You can't provide, you can't provide a lot of things. For if the money were not there, <laughs> you know, and then wouldn't I would, I would and be, you were going to free yourself. I, right? I would be pleased. Mm. I would be pleased if this body okay. would live up to my personal expectations, even if not the expectations of His Excellency the President. Okay. I would what, what are your personal expectations? 
What is it they are going to do first and foremost? We, we have an executive president. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what laws you have. Sack the person, let them go to court. We've seen that before. Okay. Let them resign and then that. go to court. Yes. But you are the advocates, <laughs> proponents of the rule of law. Mm. Now you don't believe in the so called we rule do. of law. We do. So, what has happened to due That's process? And you are How building more bureaucracies, more oversight responsibility that we don't need. Sure. There's a public services commission. Good. What are they tasked to do? What are they doing? We have civil society organizations that keep government on its tools in terms of governance. Have they done well? Oh, the, they've the, done more than well. When it suited them, they were doing very well. Yes, yes. I'm sure you've read recently about Imani's comments All about right. government intolerance. Mm. When it suited them, the CSO is doing a fantastic job. You read about the Ghana Integrity Initiative report on corruption, mm. the perception index, and government's reaction. Suddenly, the CSOs are speaking the same truth that they spoke four years ago, and they are not doing a good job. Please, Johnny. We have way too many agencies for a small country. We have way too many people drawing allowances. Yes, all of it. But, but this is here it. already. It's been inaugurated. Uh, the, There's no turning back. That is what I'm saying. Was there even a need? Okay. Before I come to the relevance. <laughs> before I even come to whether but, uh, or not they will do the job that they're supposed to do. Okay. And <laughs> is that okay. Why so Be Bella is standing by. Bella, no, welcome okay. back. No, it's not we just thing. Thing. We should <laughs> call of efficient management. Really? Yes. Okay. More bureaucracy. Okay. You so have there's a. Uh, Twenty-six yes. ministers, and you are not being there's efficient. A, you're not even standing corruption. Yes. Okay. 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 Bella, welcome back. Thank you so much. What is on? What is on the birthday edition of? A WhatsApp today. Exactly. And let's see if a lot of people... microphones are off. Thank you very much. <laughs> let's see if a lot of people <laughs> might agree with Honorable Joyce Barmutari yeah. about the fact that we have very limited resources. Yeah. And unfortunately, the country is facing too many corruption scandals. So A.U. Farouk from Tamale North Constituency says, it's a sad day this day. Um, um, corruption scandals are the order of the day in the MPP Nanado administration. Okay. Those to fight and protect the public purse are now involved in so many dubious scandals. The president must do due diligence and not clear anyone of any wrongdoing. And... Um, Another lie by this government, just like the way they lied to the families of the kidnapped girls. This is from Anafi in Tamale. We're still awaiting the results of the DNA test. And I, I'm sure that these girls might be alive. So let's keep hope alive. Kofi Keta says, ah, Johnny, the cash for seats committee has two reports, minority and majority reports. So which one cleared the cash for seat saga? <laughs> All right. So the problem of Ghana is that we have an incorruptible president almost always defending corrupt appointees. That's Mashud from Tamale. We seem to be getting a lot of messages from up north. Now, good morning, TV3. Uh, I guess because of Honorable Joyce. Exactly. So. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's great. The three so good regions morning, TV3. NBC all the way because we now see that we sold our colored TV to buy black and white. Really? Okay. 2020, we surely will come back to save Ghana again with John Mahama, wisdom from a shaman. And good morning. In fact, the corruption scandals are too many in this administration. Mr. President, wake up, or else these appointees will run you uh, one-term president. This is Abdul Ganyu from Karaga. The cleaning agents will soon be at work. Hmm, what a country we're living in. God save us from, this, from these incompetent leaders. Is Myla Horoya Ali, Greater Accra Regional Zongo Caucus Coordinator for the NDC. Good morning. TV3, Ghanaians are not going to vote for the NPP anymore. Never again, because from the way the NPP government is selling contracts, it's obvious they would be selling Ghanaians if given the chance. Wow. That's from Osman Buru Bukurisung in Tamale. This corruption allegations, well, these corruption allegations are too many. This is unacceptable. Nanado must sit up. That's a bash from WA. And the level of mediocrity and incompetence exhibited by this government is seriously annoying. Ghanaians were promised a lot, but are getting absolutely nothing from this clueless government. This is also from Alaji Bob from Kumbungu. Johnny. Thank you very much. Welcome. Uh, well, interesting comments there. Very. <laughs> very opinionated yeah. uh, WhatsApp messages. Very. I understand that Akusha Japan is coming yeah, she is uh, coming. later on the show, and you're hosting her. Definitely. Uh, last Friday, I, I was privileged to host their 30 at 50 concert at the Oak Plaza Hotel. Awesome. 30 years in music, 50 years of age. Wow. Yes, yes. Unbelievable. And she I'm doesn't look like interview. she's 50. Yeah, yeah. She looks very young. She looks and I'm good. going to learn a few dance moves. So we're dancing for you. Say again. We're, we're dancing 
The last time Abule Abule came here, yeah, his birthday. The last time Abule came here, I tried it. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, deepest condolences to the Samoa family. We understand you are laying to rest. Uh, Pinging is Samoa today, brother of Kakra, is Samoa of the NDC, and uh, we wish you all the best and be comforted in these uh, troubled times. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. George. You see, grateful for your time. Uh, you want to say something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, but this government is committed uh, to fighting corruption. And uh, we're committed to delivering on our promises to the Ghanaian people. Okay. Uh, let's keep hope alive. There may be infractions. Okay. And the president is going to respond appropriately mm. to give the right signal to all that we mean business. And indeed, we are here to deliver uh, a better life for the people. The minority says, Charlie, and Koye. Oh, definitely. And Koye. Definitely. They, and Koye, look sharp. Yeah, they, they, they want you out so they can get in. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Joyce, thank you very much for your time. Thank you was very grateful. much. Thank you for having me. And right. I would like to say a very good morning to President Anadu Danko Akufuado. Okay. Let's stop the scandal breeding machine that he calls the government. Thank wow. You. Scandal breeding machine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mr. George, you see, is the National Communications Director of it's the excellent. NADMO. And good morning, uh, sir. Uh, lawyer yeah. Joyce Barbukhtari is also a special aide to former President Mahama. Thank you Mahama very much. Mahama is for definitely your time. not the only